Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna take a look on the 2014 GTX 745. After the current standard that is on the market with the graphics cards, I think it doesn't even come close to being qualified, theoretically. Now, considering this is a VirectX 11, there's some games that are not even playable because of the compatibility. There is one trick this video card has, despite being a low profile video card. It's got four gig of VRAM. Now it's DDR3, the video card it's on 128 bits and theoretically shouldn't be good if it makes any sense <laughs> let's see how it's running and uh, maybe we can decide later if it's good enough for 2023 <laughs> let's start with apex because theoretically in the game you have that option with 2 gig 4 gig of vram so let's see how it's running now now um Let's do some changes because I think I left it last time with uh, a lot of things and uh, this video card can do that uh, amount of performance, you know, so I'm going to take a look and see how we are doing insane. No, 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 we'll put it on non. Actually, let me take this off because <laughs> it just triggers me. <laughs> All right. So um, adaptive resolution FPS target. I want that um, streaming budget and none fam. I want you to disable everything. This needs to be on low, as low as possible. I think we can even downgrade the resolution a little because I wish I can take the GPU over over 100 FPS, but I, I really don't think I have a chance. So 900p will be the next step. Can I keep it? No. Let's let's see. 35. <laughs> I mean the right specs, seriously, 720p is the right resolution because I have 40, 50 FPS in the air and every single time I reach ground, I got better FPS. But I had to max out the fan in order to keep the temperature on, on point. So, GPU fan, 100%, you can actually see it there, so. Alright, how much VRAM is allocated? 1.6 gig of VRAM, that's not bad. Wish I can put more anti-lazing because it, it looks funky. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm really enjoying the numbers that I'm seeing here. Like literally having 90 FPS on average with this uh, video card. It's quite astonishing because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a very old video card. It's got good minimals, it's got everything. It's uh, 52 minimals. Yeah, I want it. Now the GPU is fully loaded. I maxed out the fan, it's 100%, but it's still did he manage to reach 2 gig of VRAM? So it's impressive because last time we played, we played with 2 gig, v, v, 2 gig VRAM GPUs and he managed to hold, you know, so it's, it's possible, you know, but um, I'm actually surprised he's working like this, seriously, con considering. All right, let's try Fortnite. Apparently in Fortnite, I think it will be much better. Uh, we have performance mode here. Apparently DirectX 12 is not compatible, but I have everything on low details from uh, performance mode and hopefully get some awesome performance from Fortnite. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> this is very weird. I was expecting more FPS, but whatever. Okay, 71 degrees. Oh, I'm not joking. I was expecting more FPS from this. Seriously. I think I have to put it on 720p exactly like in Apex. Maybe we get more FPS then. Fantastic. All right. Apparently after I landed, I get my FPS back. <laughs> okay, good. This is well. This is very good. This is exactly what I want. I want nothing less but the, from this. All right. Fantastic performance from this video card when it comes uh, to uh, playing Fortnite. Seriously, nice, four kills. I'll take you. Hey. Can do the job in um, in Fortnite with 1080p, you know, but the only problem is uh, the GP is heating up super fast, seriously. I don't like the temperature here, but it does the job, you know. It doesn't use too much VRAM, 1.5 is enough. And 
the only thing uh, I can say about why is not okay because of the uh, minima, say one percent. That is twenty, thirty percent. It's third, twenty and thirty in uh, in its lows. So I, no, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, I do not really like it. You know, I wish I had more, but hey, I like how it's working, you know, because I'm benefiting from the system with 10 gig of system RAM used. You know, you need a lot of system RAM in order to have nice FPS. Almost, almost. Uh, all right, let's try uh, Forza. Apparently, there's a lot of uh, problems with this because it's only 20, 30 FPS, and uh, I don't like this number, you know. So let's take a look and see what we have. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, we need to adjust it. Okay, so we'll start with 1080p. Apparently, we're gonna use the upscale. It's very low. Yes, and in video we got. Let's try to do ultra quality performance sharpening zero 30 40 fps yes if i go to the bushes some texture or i want to see some uh, drops i want to see that minimal how it's holding holy smokes he actually keeps it on 40 fps 31 on minimal bloody hell man oh sh does it climb rocks <laughs> go back 28 on minimal i'll take you 2.6 this is the first game that actually uses the vram from this video card oh yes oh, it's satisfying satisfying despite being uh, mega loaded apparently the temperature on this video card is still stable and uh, still kicking well that was a very abrupt landing but it doesn't matter I'm very happy on the performance with uh, with this one. So the system, um, the system uh, CPU has no problem with this. You understand? So there is no help uh, from the CPU side because it's always eight percent, ten percent, fourteen percent. Like the CPU does nothing to help on this side. You know? So yeah, I'm not counting on this. This i9, it's useless. Wish I had an older computer, an older CPU, so I can show you something more affordable than an i9 10 gen still not cheap the cpu so that's why the system is not valid i call it an invalid system overkill i think it was fsr this was fidelity fx let's see which one is doing much better so i'm going to enable this one quality ultra performance sharpening zero looks funky this one <laughs> i can see this one a bit funky Sad story versus Fidelity FX versus FSR. Oh yeah, boy! <laughs> oh, fantastic jump. Okay, 2.8 gig of VRAM. That's the best that this game can throw on this video card. I'm actually impressed, seriously. All jokes aside, you know, considering how old is this video card and how small it is and uh, how butchered it is by this game, I think this is an impressive performance. Just in case you want to find something like uh, temporarily as a, for a video card when you want to build a computer. You know, as an ED display adapter. Impressive performance from Forza Horizon, seriously, regardless. Uh, this old video card can actually run the game, but not with 60 FPS, with 40 FPS. So, can I call in a win? Yeah. All right, let's try Cyberpunk, because apparently this this game is going to load up my video card. <laughs> and this is going to be funny. Okay, so, oh, right, the game is on Ultra. Let me put it on low. Um, let's start with Ultra Performance, because we have nothing else to do here. Gen just uh, load Antistropic 1. I'm gonna put it on ultra low, like a custom low. 
because I know it's not gonna survive this one so yeah there's no high chance this video 23 fps like, the fact that he's got 23 fps on 1080p he humors me 20 18 give me more let's go to the city oh my god i can barely control it from 3.3 <laughs> gig of vram yeah massive this is the best load on the vram ever <laughs> I'm getting I'm so happy when the VRAM is maxed out, you know, it's so freaking slow the core and the, the memory is feel oh don't break the new core. Wow, I can barely drive this. It's so laggy and it's got so much delay I can barely drive it, seriously. Frame time 45. Oh my god, this is so hilarious. So the CPU is still 20-30%, doesn't do nothing, you know. The system RAM is over 10 gig. That's good, you know, but uh, yeah, it doesn't help it. Doesn't help the GPU. Thank you, Cyberpunk, for showing us how horrible uh, this video card is. <laughs> okay, put it on 1024. Let's see. Maximum low resolution. <gasps> 38 fps i got good frame time look at this 20 30 frame time 3 gig of vram you actually dropped the vram i can actually play the game like this on the gtx 745 with 4 gig dude i had 10 times more performance from that uh, rx with uh, with uh, 2 gig of vram worst performance ever but it's a 700 series what do you expect from a video card like this seriously what do you expect I just wanted to see because it's got 4 gig of VRAM how it's performing in Cyberpunk. <laughs> That's it. It's nothing more. There's nothing special here. It lags. Ow. Can barely hold the car straight in a, in a straight line. It dropped even in the temperature. So it's 62 degrees. The core. That means the, the resolution managed to help it a little. But it's not playable. No, Cyberpunk, not playable. All right, let's try CSGO. I think CSGO will gonna run really nice. I need over 100 FPS. I'm gonna see the details. 100, uh, uh, 100 FPS will be needed with this type of setting, like 1080p with low details. So yeah, let's jump in into a dead match and see how the game is performing. 100 FPS. Come on, don't load the GPU. Don't load the GPU. Give me the best one ever, seriously. Fantastic. All right. How are we doing? 80 FPS. This is performance. 100% load on the on the on the core on the GPU is not okay. That's why I got um, less than 100 FPS. So at this stage, I wish I had more, but I have to lower the resolution and I have to do stuff inside in order to get the better FPS. Here comes the competitive settings for CSGO when you set up up with 1024 and, and that's when you, you get the best performance ever. In this case, I had to lower the whole thing. Damn, that was so horrible. It does nice, you know, it's over in nearly 100 FPS, so I, I can't complain. Right, let's see how GTA 5 is working. I think it will be a fantastic opportunity to switch it to DirectX 10. I don't want. I wanna. I wanna put it on lowest details because I think something's off here. 900p. Damn, this is so weird. This is a lot of details. Seriously, for a video card like this, <laughs> it doesn't even load the GPU. Seriously. Oh, 3.5 gig. Oh god damn it. Okay, so 900 p with high details with v-sync off. Apparently I get nothing. I have to restart the game and put it on low details. This is not the way. <laughs> this is not the way. Okay, VRAM is loaded. That's for sure. That's a good thing. So on average I get like what 30 FPS? CPU load 7%. It's it's not okay. The CPU it's still idling. 25 FPS. So what do you think it's going to happen in the casino? Interesting. 20, 23. This is not playable. I have to do some changes here. Alright, let's do let's do the changes. 
I'm gonna put everything on low and keep it on 900p. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep it on 1080p. 10 times much better, seriously. All right, 40 FPS is much better considering last time we had like what, under 20, 20 FPS. Now I have double, but the VRAM is not full, so that means the core is uh, lagging in this situation. If uh, if I may say, yeah, I won't say that uh, have to be on 900p or something or with the lower lower resolution. You can try fill it fill the VRAM, you know, try to give this video card a try, you know. But uh, it's not worth it. It's not worth on um, increases the resolution because it makes it very hard. Because this is with an open lobby, you know, when you're online with GTA 5, you need the higher frame time. Because sometimes you have to fight, you have to do some missions, you know, and when it's crowded, it lags, you know. So as much as possible, you have to increase the FPS regardless. Lowering the resolution, details, everything, it doesn't matter. Let's try World of Tanks because uh, this game knows how to fill up the VRAM apparently. Last time I seen it, it was uh, outrageous. So let's jump in and see how it's uh, running. Uh, but before I want to show you what I have. Medium details with high detail uh, texture. You know, so it, there is HD and SD, but this is on HD. So look at this now, two gig of VRAM. Medium details is quite enough for this uh, video card. Fantastic. I can actually say that I can go even on low details, but on low details it looks kind of doggo, you know, so I will not uh, I will not insist on that resolution, but it does the job. It does the job. Maybe we can actually play with the render scale or something. A huge gun depression here. Let me put it this way, I have a couple of computers that I know in the future I would like to use this video card because um, it will be compatible. I have some older systems and those one will benefit from something like this, you know, from this a video card like this because it requires no power supply, external power supply and I think it will uh, show us some uh, nice performance from those systems. I need slim video card, this is a one unit low profile video card from 2014 with uh, 4 gig of vram and uh, it will come in handy but theoretically today with this amount of um, demand on details and power from a video card i will say this is not quite the right video card to have you know if you want a temporary video card so you can build your system i can justify a video card like this i can justify there's a lot of games that i can actually play on this but uh, i would really like a video card with display port so i can benefit from uh, a high refresh monitor regardless there's a lot of games you can put on older video cards that can run with high fps so yeah i want that i would rather have high fps with a display port this one has only hdmi and uh, dvi can i suggest this video card yes for older system yes for new hardware like this i'm not recommending it so curious what do you think